Hey, Alan here from Damn Good Reviews. Today, I have the software called ViewScan 9. This is the 64-bit professional version. So, uh, if you're not familiar with ViewScan, um, it's a software package that works with a variety, almost probably all scanners that are out there. So if you have multiple scanners, um, existing scanners are no longer supported, you might want to try ViewScan. And that was the exact case that I ran into. I have an HP 7800 ScanJet, which is a multi-document feeding scanner, and HP stopped supporting it for Windows 10. They offered a couple of, uh, different options. I tried a Microsoft option that just did not work with it. And, you know, this scanner was a few hundred dollars, and I really did not want to go out and spend maybe even more. I got this one refurb for only a few hundred dollars. New ones, they're really expensive, and I'm was thinking, I'm like, there has to be some type of way to get this to work with Windows 10. Um, I looked uh, for, you know, some other YouTube videos. There were some hacks that people did that were it was just not easy. But uh, HP did recommend trying out ViewScan, and I did test it. So again, this is ViewScan 9, 64-bit version, and now the company offers three different versions. Um, first, you can always download a demo to test it out, and um, I did that, of course, right off the bat. Really loved it. Worked almost instant. I did realize that the demo um, version, of course, it puts a watermark, but uh the scan speed seemed a little bit slower. So we went ahead, we upgraded to uh, the professional version of this. There's three options. You have basic, we have standard, and professional. And pretty much the difference between them gives you more options of you know what you really want to do with it. So this is the interface when you open it up. And then if you purchase the professional version, you can go back and set you know, the settings for basic, standard, pro, depending on if you need all those settings or not. But I will say after using this, the scan speed was a lot quicker and the program works flawlessly with Windows 10 and the ScanJet 7800. So if you're looking to, you know, for a piece of software without having to replace your scanner, this may be your solution. And again, I tried some other solutions and they just didn't work or didn't scan right, took forever. This worked after right after I installed it and that was also the demo version. So let me just go ahead and show you real quick. I, I went and uh, did one of the sheet fed scans here my horrible writing you can see it here and then down at the bottom we have a couple different options we have our scan scan plus options plus view print save save plus so pretty much this tells the system that it's a single page this is telling it that's a multiple page document and then we can open up additional options and then we have things like view print save you know all that fun stuff and then if we want to zoom in or rotate the images after it was scanned and um, and so that's a preview and then we can go ahead we can see the scan version of it and then right here in the basic setup we'll see that we have um, our source so if we had to change that I have another uh, scanner that's somewhere within the house on the network um, and then you would select your different modes as far as what type of scanner it is. Um, it looks at it and says, okay, this is the type of scanner. And, you know, you can select it based on that. Even if the scanner has multiple options, you can also do that as well. And then um, we can either select auto or if we want to select if it's color, gray, color text, you know, just text by itself. And I tried everything from doing bills to, you know, just writing something like this and even uh, multi-scanning photos and it all worked great. And those were just going to PDF. We can select our, um, our batch scan if we want to do that, media size, um, or just leave it all to auto. I've worked with auto. Everything seems to be working great. Same thing, scan resolution, depending on what you want to do. It's the auto version seems to be running at about 300 DPI. Seems perfect for you know for things like uh, bills. 
probably even go down to 150. We have our default save fo folder, um, file type, everything from PDF, JPEG to a TIFF, if we want to do that. And then this right here is what our PDF file name is. This is a default option that's just saying we're going to do year, month, day, and then this is the file number. And this little plus tells it so every time you create a new file, it's just going to add a number to it so it doesn't overwrite anything. Uh, a couple other things here. We have um, our basic language, you know, font size within the software, um, what external viewer do we want to see, and then we can go back and we can uh, see a few other options as well. So here we also have some additional options including save image. We have our printer options and some other like OCR. So if you're doing optical character recognition, you can uh, enable that and export files for that. If you wanna import additional scanners, you can do that. You can select additional profiles for a scanner, printer. If your scanner supports film and negative scanning, you can do that as well. So if you want, to go with just the basic package, if this is just enough for you, then it's great. But let me show you what standard does. And standard, you can see here, it gave you a couple more options up top. So basic, we only had input and preferences. So now let's go to standard. We have things like crop, maximum multi-crop. So that's gonna um, you know, look at, like I scan those photos, if I put this to auto or custom, it would crop those right down by itself without having to go back into like Adobe, um, you know, Acrobat or something or Photoshop. We can do flattening. Um, we can change the color. So if you're scanning some stuff and you see that the color is not really uh, looking great, you can always go ahead and fix that. We still have our output information and then we have our PD, uh, PDF OCR text. So um, it, it can scan it and embed OCR text right on the page as well. So you have all those options um, really really great and some of the same ones that we saw before so now if we go back and we look at the final one which is professional now we get all these options here so this is really for somebody that wants to be able to have full control over the scanner what you're scanning and also the software we still have the same amount of options up top, but everything else has opened up. And honestly, you know, unless you're really just doing some basic stuff and all the auto is good for you, I, I would probably just recommend going with the Pro for the few extra dollars. You might as well have the options there. You never know what you're going to be scanning down the road. So here it is. We have the same info, media, media size, but now we can select things like bits per pixel, um, depending on, you know, how um, you know how fine you want to make those uh, scans look. Um, also, we can do batch scan, scan resolution, which we saw before. Options like auto rotate, auto flip, and skewing. Tons and tons of options. And if we want, we can scan, and then we can say, "Hey, let's go ahead and preview or uh, scan or and do blank page removal." And pretty cool stuff. Um, the auto eject, um, you know, it, it's depending on what type of scanner it is. If it's using a film scanner or one where it actually sucks it in, um, it, it could give the, the information to, you know, to discard it and shoot it back out once it's done. Uh, if we did anything with the image colors, we can um, lock it so it's the same across the board. We have our default folder PDF file name. Uh, cropping options, we have a few more right here. We have aspect ratios, if we want to add border, buffer, um, and then the preview areas. Uh, filtering, all we have really is just a flatten option, default options, um, not too much really to that. Again, same thing with color, we can invert that if we want. And now we have tons of options with the output. So if we can always select our own file name, allow for auto file name, and select, hey, maybe we want to export a JPEG and a PDF at the same time. Uh, we also have options for PDF size reduction. Right now it's on one, but you can always increase that if you want to reduce the size, um, in addition to the PDF compression. Uh, we have auto selecting for the paper size, which we saw before, OCR text file. 
So it, it could actually write an OCR text file when the scan or the save button is done. We can set our language for the OCR, um, index files, uh, and as well as a, a raw file. Uh, so that would be a raw like TIFF image, which would be the scanner raw version. Then we can put things like description, copyright, all that fun stuff. And then finally, we have even more preferences right here. So a lot of different things if we want to go ahead and um, you know set up buttons on the scanner of what they should do we can do that here which you don't have those options in the other versions so you see just take a look real quick we have a lot of really uh, advanced options uh, to have and then if you get the pro version again you can always switch back so you have less options to really have to worry about so we have we're, we went back to the basic version if I click options it will pump that up to at least the standard version or go up to pro just another quick way to jump around um, we also have some quick image options here we can release the memory we can do you know things like rotate flip mirror zoom in zoom out um, and they have some really good help files so that in general is just a quick overview of ViewScan 9 again this is the 64 bit version um, this was recently I know the upgrade was recently um, released and now I actually see there's a, a very new upgrade 0.65 and I actually just installed this the other day so we're gonna get a free upgrade um, and this is by Hamrick Software so check it out uh, download the demo if you have one of these scanners that's no longer supported by Windows 10 and I'm telling you uh, out of testing other um, software that was supposed to work I had no luck uh, I like all the options very straightforward easy to use um, everything from something that's basic to pro so go ahead check out view scan I really enjoy this program it's working great and um, it saved me <laughs> sounds like a Geico commercial commercial it saved me a bunch of money um, not having to go out and buy um, a brand new scanner um, when I can only spend just a little bit and purchase software that's going to work with it and give me all the options and keep my scanner alive. So again, that's Hamrick's View Scan Pro. And uh, I'm Alan from Damn Good Reviews. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe right here on YouTube. And we will see you soon.